popular sightseeing spot in the Toyota Valley region in Aichi Prefecture. But before we go, let's gear up and gas up. From here, we've got about an hour of cross-town traffic and about 30 minutes of highway before we finally reach the beautiful valleys of Toyota. Well guys, so I kind of got off the uh, highway and then I didn't bother looking at my map because I've been here before, I know the way, but actually I went the wrong direction for 20 kilometers, so I'm turning around now, <laughs> but getting lost on roads like this is not a, bit, not a problem, it's, there's hardly any cars and they're nice corners, the tarmac's pretty smooth, leaves like fallen leaves and stuff everywhere and a bit of water under the trees and stuff in the shade and stuff but generally it's a lovely little little road so i'll enjoy these winding roads for a little bit and then we'll go to the actual sightseeing tour no well not tour the sightseeing spot all right come on get out the way Alright guys, I just stopped at this little this shrine, I guess it is. This hill is super steep, I hope my bike doesn't roll away. Left it in gear. Beautifully clean water coming down from the mountains. I'm not, kind, not sure what kind of shrine it is, but it's pretty cool. Go here so you can see. I guess that's some kind of god. I guess you're allowed to go in. Hmm. Not sure what it says. Are you supposed to put money in there? I think. I guess the tatami mat is for for praying to the god. These things are like um, the kids, school kids, make these a lot. This like origami. Um, cranes you know like the bird the crane loads of them really nice yeah, and I get in those uh, the cup there's some sake like the rice wine that they offer to the god yeah it's pretty interesting little temple in the middle of nowhere just thought I'd stop and show you guys I'm not religious at all but I don't want to say anything rude about gods and stuff either, <laughs> just in case. Let's keep my options open. Yeah. Anyway, we're nearly we're nearly at the final destination where I'm trying to go today. So 
without further ado, let's just get on the road again. Alright guys, so I finally got to the place that I wanted to come to and I just stopped to the convenience store and talked to um, talked to a guy on the bike and he said, man, just forget it today, it's too busy. Like, uh, there's all these tourist buses and stuff, so I'm probably not going to go in. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, as you can see, there is people everywhere. And I don't really want to mix with a bunch of... But, yeah, it's a pretty cool place anyway. I'll see if I can get in from the other side, because there's, um... This road goes, like, next to the river. And, uh, there's... There's like a little bridge that you can cross, so I'm gonna try and get in from the other side because that place they charge you like 10 bucks for parking anyway, so screw that. And if it's like the guy said, it's full of Chinese <laughs> Chinese tourists and that they're, they're super annoying. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can kind of see down there. There's like a a red bridge, and if you see the trees, the leaves are all all um, perfectly red. It's like one of the, the things that people, Japanese will do every every year, like in this area it's super famous. Oh, here you go, here's a better view. Better view here. Yeah, you can see how beautiful and red everything is. But yeah, there's shitloads of people down there, and to be honest, there's nothing to do except walk in the, in the, in the forest and look at the trees. Uh, well, you know, I'd rather be riding my bike than, <laughs> than doing that, but... We'll carry on down this river and see if I can get across that bridge that I was telling you about before. Finished. My route is finished. Okay, then off you go, phone. We've got to ride pretty slow because there's lots of cyclists out today. That's, uh, what is that? I thought that was a restaurant. Maybe it's, yeah, I think that's like a pretty expensive restaurant. But I guess most people don't think that there's a, you know, like a back way in or a shortcut or something. So, like even here, a th thousand yen, that's, you know, ten dollars for parking. I'm pretty sure if I continue a little bit further, I can park for free. But obviously it's like the high season now. All I usually come off season when there's no, like, tourist attractions open and the mark, that you know, like the little market stalls and stuff aren't there. Then it's nice to just walk around because there's, there's no one here, but I guess today maybe my uh, little parking area that I know about may be, may be staffed today, so they might ask for money, in which case I'm not going to stop. Ah, shit. Yes, it's staffed. God damn it. Not stopping, thank you. Yeah, I normally stop in there for free. Ah, that sucks. And you can cross that bridge and get into the forest that way. And there's like, you can walk across the... Oh, the river's a bit high today, but normally you can walk across... There's like a stepping stone so you can cross the river, take a nice photo and stuff. But anyway, uh... Yeah, I'm not stopping. Screw it. There's too many tourists. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but Chinese tourists are the worst. They're like so rude. <laughs> like they just barge you out the way. You're trying to take a nice family photo or something and they just walk into the shot and stuff. They're generally freaking annoying. <laughs> like American Chinese and British Chinese and real Chinese are so, so different. Back home I've got loads of Chinese friends and they're just like, you know, regular English folks. But man, the actual tourists that come over here are so freaking obnoxious. <laughs> I hope I'm not giving you a bad image. I, last my last video, I was complaining about Latinos, and now I'm complaining about Chinese. <laughs> yeah, I think actually, when you live in a foreign country, like where you stick out like a sore thumb, like imagine if you're a white guy in Africa, you stick out like a sore thumb, right? And it's the same in Japan. Like I'm like 1.9 meters, I don't know, like six foot or something. I've forgotten feet. And I'm white, so I just everyone stares at me wh wherever I go. And like when I first came, to, when I first moved here, I found it really annoying. Like um, 
I'd be just riding on the subway or something and then some old lady would be going look at the size of that foreigner's nose and like I used to take it really personally and like think fuck you man but I mean now I've been here like 11 years so you just get used to it and you can kind of use it to your advantage in some cases <laughs> but uh, yeah actually I'm not racist I'm just used to racism so it doesn't really seem such a such a thing to me anymore I'm the subject of the racism, <laughs> mostly. <laughs> look at that big nose. Look how tall he is. Oh, look, he's got hair in his ears. Oh, I wonder, if, like one woman said, like, I wonder if the white people shower every day or something. Because I'd, <laughs> I'd been playing rugby and I, I was taking the train home because we all went out for beers afterwards. And so I was like, I had muddy, muddy, fit, muddy knees and like <laughs> my kit was all dirty and stuff. And the woman was like, just literally, right in front of my face like as close as we are now like holding onto the railing things on the on the subway and she's just talking to her, her friend like oh look there's a foreigner in front of us i wonder how often they shower obviously he's not had a shower today like like that and i'm like motherfucker i can understand what you're saying i'm not just some dumbass tourist that doesn't speak japanese i know what the hell you're saying and you're being rude but i want to say that but you know i just like keep my mouth shut and just kind of laugh inside sometimes I give them like a little hint that I know what the hell they're saying <laughs> but generally I just keep quiet and laugh but anyway so we're not going to that touristy spot so next mission is let's go off-road there was some kind of warning written there I couldn't read what it said it said like today something there is not something something arimasen i couldn't read the kanji but it didn't seem like it was don't enter kind of warning don't know what the hell it said though anyway this is uh, a little sneaky route that i know to get to a nice quiet place where i can enjoy my lunch in peace and quiet with no annoying chinese tourists i should stop saying that but yeah it's kind of a sketchy old road slippery as hell and it's probably a bit of mud coming up soon. Yep, slippery as hell. And probably the typhoon from last month. There's probably a lot of debris in the middle of the road, so hopefully I won't get thrown off the bike. But believe it or not, there's a house up here. Oh shit, that's slippery. Whoa, 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 whoa. Fuck it. I can't stand up on this thing because the clip-ons are so low. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There's that house. Hopefully I don't annoy them because they come up here quite a, quite a bit. Well, this was uh, KTM territory when I had my old uh, 690... Uh, actually, first of all, the Duke. When I was on my Duke, I used to come up here a lot. And then when I got the 690 SMC, I used to come here like, whoa. I used to come flying down this road, like thinking I was a supermoto legend. A couple of times I hit ice in the January time. I crashed that bike tons of times and it just didn't even matter. I brought a passenger up here once as well and they screamed the whole way. <laughs> Even though I'm going slow like this, you know, like what am I doing? 20Ks or something? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, made it. 
<laughs> Made it, nearly lost it. <laughs> Yeah, this is uh, basically the middle of nowhere. This road is, I think, abandoned. No one seems to be ever on this road. So I normally come out here and find somewhere to chill and have my lunch. So anyway, let's continue on and find somewhere to eat my lunch. Well guys, I stopped for my lunch and it's bloody freezing up here. We've got my little snack box that I got from the convenience store and some homemade tail soup which surprisingly is still too hot to drink considering I made that like four hours ago. Thermos flasks are great. So, get my snack on and then get back on the road. All right. All right, I had a nice little lunch. Now I'm gonna be stupid and see if I can get up this big fucking hill. Probably a bad idea, but... <laughs> I got up the big fucking hill, but where does it go? <laughs> it's a fucking dead end. <laughs> Fuck it, let's stop and take an Instagram picture. <laughs> right guys, <laughs> I'll see you when we get back to the main road. Alright guys, so skip forward about an hour and I'm sort of near the abandoned uh, onsen hot spa. So this is like a kilometre up the road. <laughs> I haven't seen one car since I've been stopped. Just had like a little drink, drink and a smoke break. Haven't seen a single car. So I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get into this onsen and not not get in trouble. So it's only a kilometre away, so let's get over there. Ah oh, no, houses. I don't want there, be t there to be houses nearby. Well, loaded up with logs, that big truck. Right, that was like, that was pretty much a kilometer, wasn't it? So it's gotta be on the right somewhere. Oh fuck, it's right there and there's a guy freaking there in a truck. The fucker. Oh fuck it. Let's get in there and if you'll get shouted at. Whatever. Ah. So there's a there's a rope. Uh, totally don't want to get in trouble. Well, apparently it's abandoned. Stanoruto or something could I say? Hmm, I don't know what it says. Something about using the lower lower route. Doesn't look like an onsen, that's the weird thing. Where the hell were the baths? Where did the water come from? Whoa, check that out. 
an abandoned bus. Two buses. Huh. What a weird place. It's totally like an odd place to have a, you know, like a relaxing spa kind of thing. I'm not surprised it went bust, to be honest. <laughs> Whoa, holy shit. Costa. Toyota. Oh, it's a Toyota. Ooh, I don't want to go inside that. There's a printer box in there. A Canon. Canon World Alpha 50 or something. I guess people are putting trash in there. I don't know what that says, but I'll ask my wife when I get home. That's creepy. There's a little toy car in there that look like, looks like it's been burned. Ooh, uh, got all the moss and stuff on the side of it. <laughs> don't want to open that trunk either. There's <laughs> probably a dead body in it. <laughs> well, it's pretty interesting anyway. I kind of want to go inside and see where the baths and stuff used to be. Maybe there's a naked ghost in there. Still having a bath after it's been closed for 20 years. Hi bike. Ah. Oh. This is where the baths used to be, I guess. Maybe. Toilet. Huh. Oh, that old man doesn't seem to be bothered that I'm in here. Ooh. It's kind of creepy. I don't know why I came to do this, because I'm a complete chicken with shit like this. <laughs> Ghosts and stuff like totally freak me out. Oh, a press. wonder what they had a hydraulic press for inside a, an onsen. Containers as well. What's in those containers? Hmm. Well, anyway, wasn't as interesting as, as I thought. I thought it'd all be like big, like pools and like bath type things and shower rooms and shit. This totally doesn't look like an onsen. Maybe it was down in the river or something. This was just like a changing room. Who knows? Anyway, it's getting uh towards four o'clock now and I gotta pick up my daughter from school so I better get on the highway and get my ass home so guys I hope you enjoyed today's video a bit of a mix of nice winding roads some off-road some nice sights and a bit of abandonment at the end so make sure you guys like my video if you do like it give me a thumbs up a share and a subscribe and I'll be very much appreciated. So guys, see you in the next video.